of course I call it an attack upon the human yeah. values, human decency, and the whole humanness, you can say. And normally, you know, when I mention the spiritual part of, of the human being, and then I say, oh, you don't mention that because we have got so far away from the spiritual and God in Denmark. So, But we are really being disconnected from our true essence, from being what we truly are. We are having a conversation here. Mm. That's to be human. That's listening to each other. We don't have to agree, but we can accept each other, no matter what we say. You're right. Um, and funny enough, um, there's a little girl lives just a couple of doors up the road here. Uh, she's, what, 14, 15, and her mother works in the supermarket. And I was in the supermarket, and her mother, and I went up to the till where her mother is, and I said, do you know, I said, and I mentioned this to Linda, I said, I haven't seen your daughter for a year, and she lives two doors up. I said, I haven't seen her for a year. I s and I was joking, and I said, we think you've sold her into slavery. Um, uh, and she laughed, and but I, I still haven't seen her. Uh, and what, some of the little ones, she's got two, a smaller brother and sister, uh, and they were coming around with Christmas cards. And I said, where's your sister? I said, I haven't seen her. I said, is she at a college or somewhere now? <clears throat> they said, no. They said she comes straight home from school and goes straight onto the computer and sits there all the time on the computer. So sh children don't interact no. at all. Now, they come straight home, they go onto the computer, onto Facebook or something, and then it's bedtime and they'll, they'll maybe sneak under the covers with some microwave device, but th they don't interact. <clears throat> And, now who was it? A child, apparently I'm a retard. Uh, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm a retard. Uh, because whenever I want to communicate, I use a, a landline telephone or I write letters with a fountain pen and ink. Uh, and a child was talking about computers and being up to date. <clears throat> and somebody said on, on the radio to the child, you know, have you ever written a letter? with a pen and ink. And he said, th th this boy said, no, he said, letters are for retards. You know, like you're, you're so backward, yeah. you know, if you write letters. Yeah. So it's, the whole thing is now electronically communicating and the children just go home and they disappear. You know, they don't go out to play. Yeah. They don't go out to play, they, they just go to their room and, and play on computers. They don't get any fresh air, they don't get any exercise. Uh, and it's, it's been said on the radio, do you want to go in the garden, Scooby? I'll let you out in a minute. It's been said on the radio that this is probably the first generation of children that are going to die before their parents for lack of exercise, uh, lack of the ability to communicate, they don't know how to write letters, they don't know how to hold a conversation, no. uh, they don't know how to go out and play. Everything now is electrical, it is in their room, they are deliberately microwaving themselves, and, and it's been said on the radio, if this may be the first generation that will die before their parents for overweight, irradiation, everything. You can say the indoor generation of children just being stuck with the computer, Facebook, and whatever. Um, you know, I, <clears throat> this was in, in there was a print in a Danish newspaper in 2010 uh, saying that multitasking will stress your child, and it says that constant use of mobile phones, emails, social me social medias <laughs> mm. uh, like Facebook can stimulate your child too much. And the consequences can be stress, ADHD. Yep. And and the Danish teacher union here says that more and more students uh, who are not able to go into depth or how to say to 
to really engage with the materials and to concentrate. Mm. And the teacher union and I contacted them in 2003 and ever since, and they never responded. But, <laughs> you know, they use this SMS languages, language where they write, I, I never send an SMS, I don't know how to do it, but I asked someone when they write in an email, they write L-O-L, -L, and I said, they write it behind and I said, what does that mean? And they say, laughing out, laugh, loud. And yeah. I, said, I said, well, okay. You know, when I write an email, I write it as an, a letter, so I write, dear, rrr, 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 rrr. but others, they write like, it's, it's like, it's like we have been changed, like you said. It's yeah. like people have become very mediocre in a way, in the way they communicate. Yeah. And also, you know, the emails, it's, it's, yeah. I actually think that, you could say computers, they are fixating, fixating our brains. It's actually part of the programming, you can say, because we, we think in a certain way. <clears throat> and our, you can say our spirit is becoming disconnected by too much use of computer because we lose our normal ability, you said, to write a letter. Mm -hmm. You know, I write a lot, you see my book here, and, and when I'm at home I had like A4 papers, yeah. and I write and I draw and, and uh, arrows and whatever together mm -hmm. because it brings the whole brain in function. And what I see today, and that's really what I find very scary, is that so many children, youngsters, but all people, not the elder generation, but the elder generation is still connected to what it is to be a, a real human being. But I, I see them as empty vessels. And Pope Benedict, he said in 2005 that people will end up in spiritual barrenness with emptiness of heart. Is that where we are? I think he's right. Yeah. I think he's right. But he's just describing the agenda perhaps. Yeah. Yep, I think he's right. Yeah. And, yeah. I wanted to ask uh, Professor Ali <coughs> Johansson about a question last time we met, but um, we didn't have time or he didn't okay. want to go into it. What's the question? But the question is really, the wireless rev revolution, mm -hmm. is it the second fall of man? You know, it, it seems like we have, in, in 20, 30 years, we have lost what have taken perhaps hundreds of thousands of years in development. Mm. It seems like we have been set back or degraded or become less than we are. Only if we fail in our attempt to educate people. Yeah. And I think, you see, <clears throat> I think we will come to a time when people will realize, because with all of their power and all of their money and all of their lawyers, there is one thing this industry cannot do, and only one. They cannot stop people dying. And sooner or later, when enough children have got leukemia, when enough people have died, when enough people have become sick, like smoking, People are going to say, hang on, <clears throat> we've been lied to all this time. Let's turn against the industry. Uh, and I think that will happen. And I also think that the industry are preparing for this because I know they are working on new systems for phones and Wi-Fi's that do not use microwaves. <clears throat> they're using light, which doesn't have the same effect with the body. So I, I think they are secretly preparing for this anyway. But there will be a time, I think, when people realise you know, that enough is enough and they will turn against it. And as you say, we will have changed governments and all the guilty people will be living somewhere very, very rich and enjoying their lives. <clears throat> but I think because they can't stop people dying, that will be their downfall. I talked to a company here in, in the UK and they are doing something with heat <coughs> and stuff and so And they were advising a mobile phone company in the UK uh, where the managing director, he said, well, we know it's dangerous, mm. but we have to find a way to implement something so it will become less dangerous uh, in the firms. 
And then he said, well, if my children, if there comes a mobile phone tower next to the school of my children, yeah. my children will be taken out of that school. Oh, yeah. The managing yeah. director of this uh, mobile phone company said. Yeah. I mean, you've only got to look in, in the, the small print in the back of the manual that comes with every phone. And it says, do, you know, keep away if you are pregnant. Do not hold it next to the body. Hold it away. Make calls as short as possible. If it's a long call, use a landline. Some experiments have shown cancer. All of this is in the manual at the back. People don't read it. Even the insurance companies, they have started putting in the pol uh, policies. Uh, oh, so they, yeah, they started it, that years with, ago. Yeah, with little letters that if your yeah. illness can be with uh, link to yeah. electromagnetic fields, there's no coverage. No, they put that in. That was the um, Lloyd started that. Uh, oh, in the year 2000, I think 2001. Yeah. Lloyd's followed by Swiss Re, uh, followed by another very very big one, who did its own research and found they caused cancer. Um, and the insurance companies won't touch it. No, won't no touch they it will, uh, especially not touch if it's something to do with mobile phones. No, but I'm talking about private insurances for your own health. Yeah. They also put it in now. Yeah. That's, that's really uh, yeah. interesting. And this is why I think 